if you have a float tank and you ever have anybody else using it, there's a chance that somebody will have hair dye in it. And if that gets inside of your float tank, you might have a heck of a time trying to get it out. It does some really nasty things like stain your liner or stain your fiberglass. Um, it can get in the water and be really hard to get out. And this is a test to try to find out exactly what works well uh, for trying to counteract that. There's a variety of different things that people are using and we personally have never had it happen. But what we did is just kind of get some chemicals lined up, some common chemicals that people would use to try to get rid of the dye. And it seems like hydrogen peroxide works best. But we don't know because we've never had it happen. So this is something that we're looking forward to doing. One method that is out there for preventive, preventive uh, hair dye staining is to make sure that if somebody has dyed their hair, to wet their hair and take a white washcloth and rub it into the wet hair and dry it. And if any color comes off, then there's a high probability that that's also gonna come off inside of your float tank. So you can know that it needs a little bit more time in order for that person to float. All right, let's get to the test here. Right here, we have a beautiful auburn color and we are at a nice warm uh, 90 degree uh, temperature for each cup. It's about 1.25 specific gravity. It is brand new. It's a brand new mixture, so uh, very clean. There's one ounce of Epsom salt water in each solo cup, and there's approximately a half a teaspoon of a really thick dye that I made up. Um, for each label, we're gonna have everything set aside according to what it says. So we have our 70% alcohol, 35% hydrogen peroxide or bleach, vinegar, vitamin C, baking soda, baking soda and vinegar, and last but not least, we have the Oxy Spa. So, without further ado, let's have at it. Okay, so five minutes in, and I'm pretty sure that we have a clear winner here being vitamin C. Um, I'm going to try to lower this down so you can get a better view of what it looks like from the side. You can actually see inside the cup here. But it definitely looks like vitamin C is a clear winner here. Next being vinegar, and then baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, oxy spa, bleach, and last alcohol. So hopefully in the future, if this ever happens to you, you, you can use this as a guide to help uh, get rid of the stains that you might have inside of your float tank or inside of your water. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.